So I wrote the one big thing last night on LeBron James to Los Angeles with the presumption that that is where he was headed. I talked about the type of clarity that comes later in life when you see things through a prism of your family, particularly your children. LeBron James, I think, occupies a rare, if not in completely unique place in all of sports. He is that good and he wields that much power. At this stage of his career and his life, the choices are his to make. And maybe it's as simple as wanting to be in Brentwood, where it's nice every day. With a chance to restore the luster to a legendary franchise and pick the brain of an NBA legend who's become a titan of industry in Magic Johnson. LeBron James' presser will provide him the opportunity to provide us with some clarity about how he arrived here in Los Angeles. But here we are. LeBron James is a Los Angeles Laker for what ought to occupy the final act of his NBA story. Unlike Cleveland, where he was the story and helped them win their one title, the Lakers have got 16 of them and they've got so many legends. Wilt and West and Magic and Kareem and Shaq and Kobe. And I'm being real stingy here because there are so many more. It's been five years since the Lakers even made the playoffs. LeBron's been to eight finals in a row. If it's going to be nine, who are they adding? Because Lance Stevenson and JaVale McGee probably aren't enough to get it done. Adrian Wojnarowski joins us now. And uh, Woj, uh, how, what, was, what was the key to make this happen? It, you know, Magic Johnson in the big seat in L.A. And, you know, for, Le, for LeBron to have, you know, when he went to Miami, I mean, he was drawn to Pat Riley. I needed to learn how to win. I needed to learn how to be part uh, of a winning, of a, of a championship culture pedigree. That mattered a lot to him, and, and he, he, he the, the, Eric Spolstra, you know, gained his respect mm -hmm. as a head coach. They won two titles together. But I think Magic in that big seat in L.A., not just what Magic represents as a player, one of the greats all time, synonymous with the Laker uniform, uh, but what he has done as an entrepreneur. He is this gold standard for the great athlete becoming a mogul. And those are the aspirations LeBron James has, and he started down that path. And now he takes all of that to Hollywood, to that market. The Lakers aren't just a big NBA franchise, a big American franchise. They're a global brand. And you put that together with LeBron James, it's bigger than whether he's just got JaVel McGee and Lance Stevenson coming in here in free agency. I mentioned a moment ago, Bobby Marks will come by, and that's, in, that's the, the nuts and bolts of what he does, helping us understand how the math works. But it doesn't work for them to just go get Kawhi if the Spurs would even be willing to work with him. Just how difficult is it going to be for them to add another significant piece? Well, much more difficult after the Caldwell Pope deal today, $12 million into the cap. Bobby will go through all that. But it does become more difficult with, to get Kawhi Leonard. And what I'm told is Kawhi Leonard remains focused on wanting to get to the Lakers, not just Los Angeles, but the Lakers. And he can do that in free agency next summer. Um, and LeBron is signed long term. They last year took for granted with Paul George that he would come in free agency this year. Mm -hmm. They didn't make a big offer to the Pacers. He goes to Oklahoma City. He stays. What if Kawhi Leonard gets traded to Philly or Boston, loves his time there, wins big, gets to sure. the finals? Do, is, is he, does he maybe not get the free agency mm -hmm. next year? But now it's a difficult pathway. The Spurs will trade Kawhi Leonard to the Lakers, uh -huh. but they're going to do it for a big package and, that, and, and the pieces of that package became more difficult with the moves the Lakers made today. You used the word seismic once this news broke. I mean, SportsCenter's been on. Uh, and Zuba Mahedi, by the way, give the man a raise. The man, I think he was on for like three straight hours and didn't come up for air. Um, seismic, I get it. When you talk to everybody around the league, this was the presumed outcome when, when we spoke last night at midnight. But what was the reaction to the reality? You know, I, I think e even seeing LeBron up there in the uniform, I, I think it takes people's breath away yeah. because the Lakers are the sleeping giant of the league. And when it's right there, when it's being run right, um, everyone should want to go there and play. There's no better place to play. And, and um, they're going to be able to attract players there. And I had one general manager in the East say to me tonight, like the league is going to start pushing again for that one through 16 playoff seating because the West, look at the talent drain from east to west the last few years um, Paul George Jimmy Butler and now LeBron Boston and Philly are set up and Toronto's still very good but it's um, LeBron in that arena um, wearing that uniform it for the league itself it makes it all bigger it really is it really is it's, I'm with you with the jersey and I'm, I can look over my shoulder and see it it's one thing to talk about it but now you start going Okay, that's where he's going he's gonna to be in those Sunday whites, right? I mean, that's, that's, that's a clean look, and I mean, he, looks, right. he looks good in any jersey he's wearing. You know, uh, Shaquille O'Neal, sure. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, 
Wilt Chamberlain all went east to west and, and won their champion, won championships in L.A. Well, I appreciate the time. Thanks, Scott.